So we've experienced and seen a lot of changes from bikes since the 90s to today. And with the evolution of bikes comes the evolution of geometry, parts, and standards. But are all of these changes worth it? That's the question. In an upcoming video, we decided to unpack these topics one by one, but first we need your help. Because we value your opinion and want to understand the consumer a little bit more, we are asking all of our followers to fill out a very brief survey to share if you think these topics are worthy innovations or just marketing hype. We will not only share results in this upcoming video, but I'll also provide my two cents on each topic. So by subscribing to our YouTube channel, hitting that notification bell and filling out this survey, you will be automatically entered to win a Kitsbo icon and you will instantly get 25% off to kitsbo.com. If you haven't noticed, I've been wearing a lot of Kitsbo apparel this year, just like this icon you see. The reason I love Kitsbo is that it's super functional, good looking cycling apparel that is easily confused for everyday clothing. Who said cycling apparel needs to be tight and uncomfortable? Kitsbo gets it. Kitsbo apparel is made to order in Old Fort, North Carolina, which means it's highly sustainable and produces significantly less waste. Not to mention, Kitsbo is employee owned, which is pretty awesome. So we will announce three winners at the end of our dissecting the bike industry video. So keep an eye out for that. Good luck everyone. And thank you all so much for the support.